Hey everyone. Okay, today we're going to be doing a review of the uh Nomads the Fire or the Nomad Cosmetics Fire and Ice palette. I don't know how to pronounce it. It says Land Eld in East. That's not how you say it, but I don't know how to I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> but this is the outside of the palette itself. I love how it has like a little texture around here where the waves and stuff are. And take the little clear cover off. And this is the inside of the palette. Where are you at? Okay. And I think I'm probably going to try the grayish in the dark shade. Because I've been doing a lot of blue and green looks here lately and a lot of reds so we're gonna try that and i already have my brows done and my face primer on and my eye primer trixie what are you doing And I may end up changing my mind through the middle of this video and deciding to go on ahead and do it because those blues look really pretty. And I really want to use them. I won't do it. I'm fine. I don't need the blues. Alright, what do I want to go in with first? dig in through all these brushes I got. And some of these I'm going to have to do like a color switch because I haven't, I haven't gotten the pigment off of them yet. I'm going to go in first with, I'm going to use this blue color here, the Jord. Jord? In Jord? I don't know. That blue shade there. And I don't see any fallout in the pan. Okay, and I'm going to go, because I've got kind of hooded eyes, I'm going to make a new crease here. I kind of went above that a little more than I meant to, but... That happens sometimes. It's got really good pigment so far. And then I'm gonna blend that out. And you can kind of see where I kind of got that color a little higher than I meant to, but I don't think that's going to cause too big of a problem. Mistakes happen. And it blends out really easily. Nomad Cosmetics is a brand I really like. Their quality is off the charts. I'm going to take that blue a little bit further down this way. I don't think I took it enough. Trixie's playing with the glare of the light that's going off the mirror. Her favorite thing to do while I'm filming. I'm also going to be doing um, another video while I'm filming this one. I don't know which one I'm gonna put up first. It's gonna be a lot shorter of a video, but. I'll let that be a surprise, whatever it's gonna be. And 
Y'all will kind of know what it is whenever I put it up. It's going to be a, not really a review, but trying something for the first time that I've never tried. Now I'm going to go in with this gray shade, um, Odin. Ooh, nose itches. And I'm going to use that to go into my real life crease where the actual crease is in my eye. But since I've got hooded eyes, I can't really, can't really use that one. Or you won't see the, the eye look, I guess. And it looks like these two shades blend together really well. I really like that. These are these shades are actually doing what I wanted uh, the Baroque color pop or the color pop Baroque palette to do to build a gradient and I couldn't get them to do that. And so far I'm not seeing any fallout on my face either. Really like that. I'm gonna go back in with that uh, light blue shade to kind of bring that back out a little more. Yeah. Okay, and now I'm gonna take one of my little flat kind of brushes. I'll better leave that one out. I'm probably going to need it in a minute. Let's see. Where are you, little flat brush? There you go. Going to color switch it here. I think there's like four or five of my brushes that I need to wash. I'm going to go in with this uh, Dark Castle shade. I tend to have a little more problems with darker shades, I think. So I'm going to try to go in a little more delicate with this one. We're just doing the outside corner. That's actually looking really good. Like, this is seriously what I wanted the Baroque palette to do. And just could not get it to do it. Blend that out before we add a little more to it. Kind of deepen that up a little more. Jeez, Trixie. It's just the light. Calm down. I love that. And the fact that it's actually blending together and not becoming a muddy mess, I am a huge fan. And I think, do I want to 
do that to the inner corner or the inner part of the eye. I feel like I'm going to lose. Got a little bit of fallout right there. Let's see if we can't just brush that away. Didn't stain or anything. Yeah, I guess I'll go on ahead and try the inner part of the eye. I haven't done that in a while. Please don't let me screw this up. It's really hard for me to blend this part of my eye because that part of my eye is so darn small. And I think I'm going to take... gray shade, I think. I'm going to use a different pencil to get in there. That Odin shade, I'm going to use that to kind of blend out the very edges of that black. Like, you're not going to see it real well, but it's just going to barely be there. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to take this uh, gall Gallows Lava. It's like a greenish, a darkish green shade. Oh, that's pretty. I'm going to go right in the middle there. Oh, I love how that looks. Yes. That looks very pretty. Okay, I'm going to do the other eye off camera and hope I can get it to look similar to this eye. And I'll be right back. Okay, and I've got the rest of my makeup, or my face makeup done, except for my lips. For some reason, I feel like I have to do those last no matter what. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the bottom part of our eyeshadow. Let me move all my other brushes out of the way. Um, first, I'm going to go in with that light blue shade. Well, no, I'll go in with the gray shade, I think. And we're just going to... Sweep that across the bottom of the lid. Or I guess the top of the lid since this is the bottom one. Yeah. 
And I'm going to take that blue shade, that light blue shade, and blend out the bottom of that. kind of mix those two together and it created a new color and I don't actually hate it connect a little here because I see kind of a blank spot there we go Trixie Ann you're about to drive me insane all right and then we're gonna get ready for that uh, black We're going to use a smudge brush for this one and we're just going to go right into the lash line but we're not going to take that all the way across I'm going to go back in with that gray shade, kind of blend out to the edge, just so we don't use or lose that gray shade there. Trixie, stop! Why are you getting so rambunctious? Okay, and I'm going to... on the pencil brush here. All right, and I'm going to use this uh, River Glacier shade for my brow bone highlight and the inner corner. I'll go ahead and do the inner corner for, uh, first. really pulls it together. Oh, I feel like an ice queen. I really like that. Like I all of a sudden went completely frozen. Cold never bothered me anyway. In all reality, I hate the cold. The cold bother bothers me a lot. <laughs> but I love this look. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other eye. Okay, and this is the finished look. I actually, I'm really impressed with these eyeshadows. And like I said before, the these darker colors here are exactly, they're what I wanted the Baroque palette to be. And it didn't, it didn't live up to it. So I definitely recommend this palette. Um, I haven't done the other colors yet, but darker color, darker colors are usually a little more difficult anyway. So I think that if the darker colors are this good, then more than likely the rest of the colors will be good. I'll probably do another look eventually using some of the other colors. But I definitely recommend this palette. Um, they're they usually they're usually really good about keeping their stuff in stock. 
but I will see y'all next time and I'll probably post another video which I'm about to record here in a few minutes. I'll probably post another video tomorrow or the day after and I think I've got another review video coming up but I guess that's it for today and I will see y'all next time. Bye!